Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify this uh, radical expression by rationalizing the denominator. Now, the first thing I see is something that's obviously can be simplified, which is 15 divided by 3. We know 15 divided by 3, that can be reduced down to 5 times the square root of 60x to the fifth divided by 12 or the square root of 12x, right? So get that out of the way first. You can leave it and then simplify it all at the end, but that's something very obvious. We know that 3 divides by 15, so you know it's simplified to 5 over 1, but we don't need to write the 1 there. The next thing I'd want to do is simplify each of my radical expressions separately. So here I have the square root of 60x to the fifth, and here I have the square root of 12x. Now to simplify this, you know, you can use prime factorization, but I prefer to determine the largest square numbers that divide into um, each of these. And or always rewrite them as square numbers or square terms here. So here, I can rewrite 60 as 4 times 15. And I had to choose, you know, I could also do 6 times 10, right? But 6 is not a square number, nor is 10 a square number. However, 4 is a square number. And I can take the square root of 4. So that's why it's very important to choose your square numbers. Now, to rewrite x squared as squared numbers, that's going to be x squared is a square term, x squared is another square term. And how many times do I need to multiply you know, x's by themselves to get to x to the fifth? Well, this is x to the fourth, so therefore I need to multiply x to the first to now get x to the fourth. Now, to simplify this, remember the square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of x squared is just x. The square root of x squared is just x. And then left over, I cannot take the square root of 15, nor can I take the square root of x. So that's just going to leave me with 15x. So therefore, I have 2x squared times the square root of 15x. Now, the next thing is, as I get a phone call from somebody, uh, the next thing is now I want to go ahead and simplify the square root of 12. So to go ahead and do that, again, I'm going to look at the largest square number that divides into 12. And 4, again, is going to be my lovely square number I'm going to use. So I'll have 4 times 3 times, oops, not times, times x here. Well, again, I can take the square root of 4, which is 2. I cannot take the square root of 3 or of x, so that's going to be left with a 3x. So now, let's go ahead and rewrite those back in what we have here. So I have 5 times 2x squared times 15x divided by 2 times the square root of 3x. Now, what's really nice about um, when you're dividing radicals here is that this, the square root of a times b, is equivalent to the square root of a over the square root of b. So therefore, if I have the division of two radicals, I can easily, if, if they divide into each other, I can rewrite them as um, the radical of um, a divided by b. So therefore, I can, first of all, I can simplify that. 2 divided by 2 is just 1. So I'm left with 5x squared times 15x divided by 3x. Well, 15 divided by 3 is 5. And x divided by x goes to 1. So my final answer is 5x squared times the square root of 5. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify a radical expression. Uh, you don't have to rationalize the denominator. You just need to simplify. Thanks.